Okay, uh, we're back, and we've we've covered um, a lot of great fundamentals in the uh, in the beginning section here, and we're getting onto some more fun stuff. We've done some um, uh, hammer-ons, and um, we've covered basic chords, some minor chords, um, uh, a lot of major uh, scales, some great fundamentals for. Um, you know the, the foundation and framework of what's going to become uh, your style in this in this um, in this uh, lesson series of country guitar. So right now we're going to move on and do some um, basic pull-offs, and um, this is going to be fun. It's it's a left hand technique, and um, what we're going to do is I'll show you what it sounds like. We're going to strike the note fretted. <laughs> And then when you when you pull the pull off is when you you're engaging a note without picking with the right hand, so you're 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 getting two notes for one pick attack. Uh, it's kind of like the same concept as the hammer on, which we did earlier, which was like this. You're getting you're you're striking one note and getting two. So um, this can be good for uh, speed and and just some general accents in your playing that we'll get to uh, farther on down in the lesson. But um, right now, what this is is you're when you when you fret the the note with your we're going to use your first finger, and you pull off. You're almost kind of if you go straight up, you won't get the same effect. It doesn't work. You have to kind of you, you, when you release your finger, you're almost flicking in a way upward to where you can. I mean, you can almost you can do it without picking as well like this. So it's an interesting technique. You're 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 not just releasing your finger straight up. You're doing it in a in an in an in an upward motion, which which I mean upward this way, not straight up or out. So you're going you're going upward. So you get this effect. Or so what you do with your finger is. It needs to be, again, uh, the key to all this stuff is stay relaxed. You want to get the note to speak clearly, and you want to pull the tone and, 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 and you know, pull the tone out and, and be able to get the volume from the, the pull-off. So, like I said, it's this upward motion, and you're almost, you're, you're, you're using the, where the string lays in your um, the, the ball of your first finger, that groove, when that catches the string and, and you do that, that upward movement and out, it's going to catch and make the, the, it's going to make the volume loud enough to where you can actually hear this, to where it's not this up, just a straight upward motion. You're actually you're actually, uh, you know, you're engaging the string, in the movement that it takes to, to, you know, make the sound like your picking hand. It's essentially the same concept, but you're doing it down here. And that's a pull off. So we're going to do an exercise uh, with this, and we're just going to use the pentatonic scale in G. And we're going to pull off, um, we're going to start by doing just a pull off on each one. And then we're going to move to do uh, a hammer on and a pull off on each one, just so you can get this left hand really feeling comfortable uh, with this technique. So um, right now, let's do it. Let's start on the high E string, and I'll count us in. One, two, three, four. do it one more time and on these bottom strings you can pull you can pull um, you can pull off down or you can and then when you get to the G string you might want to try um, going up on this one so so it's up there and on these that one doesn't work as well so when you get to the middle the middle and low strings your, your motion is going to go upwards and on these, you can do you can do either way. So it's almost which one is more comfortable for you. But you can pull down, 
with the same effect as going up. So let's try that again. We'll go um, with using the pentatonic scale. We'll go we'll go up from the high to the low. So we'll go down here, down, pull down on the first two, and then up on the when you go to the G string. So one, two, three, four. Let's try going down from the low to the high. One, two, three, four. Um. And then back down. One, two, three, four. Okay.